the, the thing here is every market has its challenges. And right now, when the interest rates go up for the consumer, we need to understand that they go up for the developer as well. Yeah. It, it, when interest rates go up, they go up. And that's for everyone. Nobody's safe from an increase in, in interest rates. So the cost of money, when a project was financed two years ago with a timeline, in the in, in the, the the financial economic sense and perform at the time looked a certain way and now it looks the polar opposite the developer now has pressure to get the project on the road and just lock in yeah so the developers for them to bring these 30 story towers to, to existence they have to do pre-sales of 60 to 75 percent as the economic stability has shifted to the bad side, it's a more unstable and more volatile market right now. Yeah. They even have to get to 80% before they lock in financing. Yeah, That means that I can say, Patrick, if your community wants to do a deal here and we put together, obviously it's not one office, if we're going to put together 10, 20, 30 units, yeah. the developer not only will listen, they will do things for us. Mm-hmm. The other way, meaning that if I can deliver 20 units, what are you willing to, to give to the people who are doing this? Yeah. And that's where we come in. So that, that ability of us being able to reach hundreds or thousands of investors at a time uh, yeah. gives us the ability to walk in with a very different strut to the developer's office and come home with, uh, with prize money for all. Um, and, and this one here is uh, a project in downtown Kitchener last year sold for a record 1380 a foot yeah in kitchener not in downtown toronto <laughs> so the project that we have 